All right, guys, welcome to Performance Farms channel. I'm John Rodriguez, and in today's video, we're gonna go back onto kind of a duty gear review per se uh, about footwear. Okay, what do I wear for duty foot fo for footwear? Um, and I'm gonna tell you from where I started to where I'm at now, um, and I probably will be there for a little bit until something better comes out. So we all started with the, you know, Otama regular, you know, boot with the zipper on the side. This is what everybody gets. You know, it's leather. It's uh, you can shine the toe. It is what it is, right? So we've all started with that. From there, I went on to um, not necessarily this model. Um, went over to the Solomon Forces. Um, I've had them in different colors. Um, this one's kind of dirty because I used it to hike around and stuff like that but <clears throat> Solomon forces are a great set um, had these for a number of years I had a couple pair of black ones that uh, got worn out and thrown uh, in the garbage uh, but that being said this is a phenomenal boot um, they're just quite expensive and they've become quite expensive more expensive over the years um, when I first started you could find a pair of these at your you know for around 100 bucks uh, now they're $200 um, is the closest with with the Gore-Tex ones um, from there, you know, I have, so you can see that I'm not like, the shoe that I'm gonna recommend is not like I'm a fanboy of it and uh, I have tried different shoes. This is um, the, before the Forces came out, uh, this is more of like the original hiking shoe. They had this in uh, mids too, but um, these are Gore-Tex. These are the uh, Solomon XA Pro 3Ds. Uh, these I probably have had for about four years. Um, they're pretty worn down and they just stay in the back of my closet I probably gotta throw them out. Um, they do you know like anything they do break um, I put some glue on there make it work for as long as I have to uh, from there um, Everybody knows the speed crosses um, They've kind of transitioned now into the tactical world as well uh, with the uh, Gore-Tex versions blacked out um, a lot of SWAT guys wear these uh, super comfortable, super lightweight. Um, they do have them in Gore-Tex. This one's not, uh, but great shoe. The only diff the only part is that uh, these knobs are not made to walk on concrete and will wear down pretty quick. But if you're in a gravel terrain, great shoe. Originally designed for uh, trail running, right? Uh, so great, great, great shoe. Um, I have quite a bit of these. This is probably like my sixth pair. This is what I normally wear as my competition shoe. Um, now from there. We go on to probably, oh, so before I get to that, um, Solomon also released a shoe that is a blend between this shoe and this shoe, all right? I believe it's called the Speed Assault or Speed Assaulter. Um, it has this bottom, it's a mid, uh, kind of, it's kind of this shoe, but a mid. Um, and it comes in all the tactical colors, you know, the burrito, the tan, the green, and then the, and the black. Um, they're not Gore-Tex. I haven't seen any Gore-Tex, but there might be. Um, those shoes are about 170 bucks. So, that being said, um, when my shoes started to run out, I started to look at what was I going to wear as a duty shoe. And I came across, these are my first original pair, the Adida Alteryx. I believe these are the A APX or AP4 or AX4, something like that. Um, I'll put the model number somewhere here when I do editing. Um, but these are phenomenal shoes. One, they're Gore-Tex, right? They're gusted it up to here. So you pretty much have waterproofness pretty much almost the whole way up the shoe. Um, this comes with continental treads, which are, uh, if I show you the new ones, you'll see that they are very, very knobby. All right, give you good grip, and they're a little bit harder compound um, for concrete. All right, I've worn these these probably about 14, 15 months before I bought the new pair, um, and about a hundred, about a hundred bucks. All right, because I bought these for 104 shipped. These I paid 91 shipped. Okay, so you just gotta shop around online. Um, I do have a link to it. Maybe I'll put it down on the description um, if you guys are interested. But phenomenal shoe. They wear right. Uh, wide toe. Um, I can't complain. So um, these are, in my mind, Solomon killers. Okay. For the price point, I could buy two of these 
in one shot for one price of Solomon's. Um, I got good ankle support. Like I said, Gore-Tex. It's a phenomenal shoe. It hasn't broken in 16 months of wearing. Um, now, not only did I... This pair specifically, right? These, I wear just for duty use. Um, I haven't worn them for anything else. But these, when I first got them, they were so comfortable that I wore them for my everyday shoe. I wore them anytime I wore pants, right? Because I have a thing where I can't wear mids when I wear shorts. I just think it looks ridiculous. Um, but if you do, hey, by all means. Um, so whenever I wore jeans or I wore um, different colored tactical pants, um, I would wear these. And I wore them for hiking. They've been all over the mountains of Tennessee. Um, they've been to matches. They've been to some training where I was running a lot with some heavy gear on me. Uh, so phenomenal shoe um, highly recommend them guys if you're looking for a duty shoe and you are able to get away with a non-polished toe uh, phenomenal phenomenal shoe all right guys they also come they also make a leather version uh, it's a different it's not that it's it's still an alterix but it's not um it's not this style it's leather and it has not not gore-tex it has like rain some some type of waterproofness on it um they come in uh, black or tan they also have they also make a shoe that is for the uh gsg9 which is the uh, french special police force or whatever special forces or whatever um which is a little bit higher um so great options the prices are a lot more reasonable than what you get from solomon um i love solomon shoes but guys the price is just killing you and you never find them on sale uh they're pretty hard to find so adidas listen, this is the only pair of adidas i own i don't own adidas besides these so i'm not an adidas fanboy and actually never bought adidas before this so give them a look if you're interested i'll keep trying to keep bringing duty gear reviews if you guys want them um i'm not shooting a lot of matches but i am working a lot so um i could bring stuff all right so thank you guys for watching i'll see you at the range